Hello, my name is Peter Nick. I'm leading the research group of molecular biology at the Karlsruhe Institute of Technology in Karlsruhe, Germany. And I will tell you about our research dealing with plant cell cultures. And the target of this research is to improve the accumulation of Taxol, a very important anti-cancer compound, which is normally made in uh, trees, yew trees, very rare trees. And uh, these tree species have been almost got extinct because of the overuse, because people were hunting for this compound. As an alternative, um, we try to do this in plant cell cultures, and uh, this is working. So we are collaborating with a company, Phyton, near Ahrensburg. They are doing this already very successfully in very huge fermenters. The problem is that these cell cultures from that tree um, are growing very slowly, and sometimes they don't do what they are expected to do. That means they don't accumulate the taxol that is expected. And the reason is not clear. And therefore, working together with this company, we were interested in finding out whether we can find cellular predictors of the ability of a given cell culture to produce this compound. Now, how did we do this? We were using a combination of advanced microscopy, so-called confocal spinning disc microscopy, and uh, we were also measuring the genes that are producing taxol under certain conditions. And um, what we found out was that there is a specific cell type that we could discover. We called it shiny cells. These cells are looking different from normal cells. They are having a very thick and glossy vacuole. Therefore, we call them shiny cells. And these shiny cells um, seem to correlate with the formation of taxol. So we could show that they form under conditions where taxol is seen. We could also detect taxol produced by those cells and we could see details of how the cells secrete taxol into the medium. This is uh, done by a very interesting new mechanism where a compound called a multivesicular body is fusing with the membrane and releasing the taxol into the medium. Now we were asking uh, whether we could find conditions under which these shiny cells can be stimulated. And indeed, we found out that there is um, um, a protein in the membrane. It's called NADPH oxidase. It's an enzyme producing reactive oxygen species. And this uh, enzyme seems to be important for inducing the differentiation of a given cell into a shiny cell. And we furthermore could find out that we could stimulate the formation of these shiny cells by stimulating this oxidase. And this can be done, for instance, by aluminum ions. So by aluminum ions, it's possible to stimulate the production of taxol by uh, inducing in the cell culture the differentiation of this new shiny cell type. The whole work has been published in a journal called Plant Cell Reports. And uh, if you like, you can also look up the uh, web page given in the record where we give a bit more of details.